on, and a jazz oriented dance school, whereas I was more trying to represent what we call the New York style of the contemporary Latin dance, which is, like I said, it has nothing to really do with ballet or any other form of classic classical dance. It's just strictly a street dance, so to speak, and from there I wanted to develop into something more professional. So, like I, like I said, it was just an innovative idea of my own that I, I see. put together sort of for this dance. Latin dance in general, from what I've seen of it, seems to be an extremely vibrant, exhilarating dance form. I mean, there are many dance forms, but Latin dance really is outstanding as far as its uh, generation of energy. Uh, why do you think this is? Is it from the country it comes from, or the drum beats, or heavy percussions? Why do you think it is as a Latin dancer? Well, I, w I would say in my opinion, Marion, um, our dance is a very cultural dance. It's the kind of dance that was not sort of like an invention of someone just putting technique and steps together. It's the kind of dance that we grew up with in our homes, and I'm speaking of in our homes from from the roots of, let's say, Africa and Puerto Rico, where the, I'm sure the children in these countries, they, they don't know what it is to study a dance. They just mm -hmm. brought up dancing at, in the home atmosphere. You know, they have the drums in Africa, and I'm sure that the children are dan dancing to what they call the cultural dances. And in Puerto Rico, you know, in, in, in what we call the hibado uh, 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 scenery, where we have the children just dancing as a cultural thing, you know, mm -hmm. so we, we, we feel the music, it's part of our upbringing, and that's what makes the music, I guess, so intense and so, so exhilarating, so emotional, because it's something that's felt, it's from the heart, and it's not such a technical or, shall we say, a very structured type of dance. Right. Well, you, you're getting involved, currently you're getting involved in Afro uh, dance as well. How does that differ from Latin dance? I mean, from what you're saying, there seems to be a compatibility and uh, a kind of, um, uh, you know, accentuation from Afro to Latin and vice versa. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's a, there's a very strong bond, there's a very strong tie there uh, from the African. We consider here, in, in what we call the New York style Latin dance, we consider Africa and Afro-Cuban rhythms the root of our music and our dance here in New York and um, I would say definitely there is a, a strong tie there. This is why I'm drawn and, and the African dance appeals to me. There's an Afro influence then yes, in the Latin very, dance. Yes, very much so. Very and much uh, so. Afro music does have a strong percussion sound, doesn't it, with the drum beats and yes. that type of thing. Yes. And that seems to be a very uh, natural uh, dance pattern. I mean, that's uh, you know where it all started. I would say I would I would say that Latin uh, music, in the sense of what we're hearing today, what we call the charanga and and uh, and uh, typical sounds, I would say that it's basically a design on top of what we call the root of African music, which is the drums. Is, um, basically, that's what African dancing uh, requires. When you go to study African dancing, all you have is, let's say, uh, five or six drummers beating out dr on the drums to rhythms. And then I would say on top of that, we put, uh, um, we put um, music, we, we add melody, we, mm -hmm. we, we add in the, the trumpets and, and the other instruments. So mm -hmm. you would say, I would say that the undertone of all our dance and everything is very much an African root awesome. type of uh, dance. But um, like I said, in my own opinion, what I'm doing is w what I would say an, an innovative form. Mm -hmm. From not just pure African or, or um, jazz, it's just a, a combination of different styles of uh, different forms of dance. And I even, I even have a name for my style, which I call avant-garde Latin dance, meaning simply that it's a free form innovation. Okay, it's not restricted to any particular form. It doesn't mean that it's African or it's modern or it's jazz or ballet. It's just a free form idea. Whether I study African and it influences on what I'm doing in Latin dance or whether I'm into um, jazz or just typical Latin dancing done in the clubs. Mm -hmm. See, so it's a strong combination. Eddie, let me ask you, how does Latin dance stand on a theatrical basis? Um, is it really an accepted form theatrically and has it been popularized on a commercial wide-scale basis? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Marion, because I feel strongly that one, one of the things that we are lacking in our dance is the development commercially, thea theatrically, and we, we need uh, more involvement, I'd say. That's the one I'm trying to influence the youngsters today. I'm also involved in a program right now that um, means teaching the youth and orientating them to our dance and to our roots as far as the dance. 
with the direction of trying to one day do something theatrical, for example, to do something in a production on a scale of a Alvin Ailey, a Harlem Theater of Dance, take it to Off-Broadway or, or Broadway musical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to see that happen in New York one day. You really do want to promote Latin dance then, uh, more than it has been so far. Very much so, yes. Like I said, I feel it's, there's a lack of development in New York. And uh, what would you zero in on specifically attributing that lack of development? Has it been a lack of commitment in the Latin community as far as promoting and developing their own dance form? Or what exactly, if you were to pinpoint what one reason, uh, would you attribute the lack of development of Latin dance in America to? I would have to say that I, I think our dance is such a fun dance and it's the kind of dance that we normally wouldn't direct. I would, I, I would think it's a lack of a vision of someone seeing it done more professionally because like I was saying before, our dance is done in clubs and we do it more as a street thing where we do it just for fun and enjoyment. And I think what needs to be done from there is for someone to um, see it done more on a broad scale, on a productive scale of professionalism. Right. So, see, I'd, I'd you like need to, to structure and focus exactly. a bit more in order to uh, promote it and right. market it. And uh, how would you say Latin dance is um, accepted socially for non-Latin, the non-Latin community? I mean, it seems to be a very natural dance form for Latinos, especially young Latinos, but how would it be socially for the non-Latin community? Would they take to it, do you think, on a large scale, socially? Um, I'll tell you, Mary, I think I'm very excited over the fact that I know I'm a, I teach the dance and I've been in this atmosphere of dancing for quite a few years. And it's funny to say that the majority of the people that I know involved, even doing it, uh, uh, studying it or developing it or doing anything professional, they're, they're non-Latins. Is that so? Yes, and I think there's a very strong interest. Somehow the people of all nationalities are drawn to this dance and to this music and it has no barrier as far as, you know, nationality. And this is what excites me about the dance. Anyone can join in from any culture and like I said, it's, it's something where it's uh, appealing to all It has a type of universal appeal yes, then. It's yes. not restricted, restricted just to the Latinos and uh, one sector of the community. Exactly. Which is good. Uh, Zeroing in for one moment, I have seen you dance and it's fabulous. I'd like to Thank know, you. You, you're you sort of a purist in the Palladium type dancing, sort of open-ended type of positioning. Uh, how did you come to really specialize in that? Well, I have to say that the Palladium was, I would say, the, the home of what we considered Latin dance here in New York. That's where people say it all started many years right. ago. I was too young at the time to participate in the Palladium, what they call the Palladium era. But um, that was typically the dance, the, the performances were typically done in that fashion where it would be an open routine, the guy and the girl, or two guys, or a guy and two girls, and, and it would always, on, m most of the time, it would be an open position routine. Mm -hmm. And Was there any reason for that, or is it just how it developed stylistically? I think basically it was just a matter of, of having the freedom for individuals to express what they felt. Ah, uh, so you needed room and space. Yes, and also yeah. the freedom of being individual, where the girl would do her solo and the guy would do his solo, and it would show there the individuality of the expression of the dance. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, it's not necessarily uh, saying that that's the, the, the style of the dance per se. It can be done closed, there's a lot of beautiful things you can do, just like we see in the hustle today with the lifts and, and all the adagio. There's no restriction to the dance. Mm -hmm. okay, I particularly like to choreograph a lot of my work in that style, and I was influenced by a lot of people from the Palladium era, the dancers, and um, I would say basically it's, it's just a very, right now, it's just an uh, open feel with mm -hmm. what you can do with the dance. How does, you really do a type of bomba, the palladium type dance in his mambo primarily, mambo, yes. isn't it? How does that uh, stand with salsa, which seems to be a very popularized and a well-promoted Latin dance form? How mm. would you compare it? Well, I'm glad you asked that because that's a very controversial thing right now with uh, this theme of salsa. As far as what I under understand of what salsa means, salsa is just basically a title that we give to our music, our dance, it's not any one particular, it has nothing to do with a form, or cause salsa, the words uh, just simply means sauce, mm -hmm. okay? So this was, I think, someone's idea to commercialize the whole 
gamut of what the music and the dance are about. But the mambo in itself is what they call a dance, just like a tango, a waltz, and a cha-cha. These are, these are forms of dance. But salsa is basically just a theme, a category for all music, and it has to do with Latin and the dance also. I see. Eddie, we're going to break for one moment here, and we're going to make a far transition to a very